I'm Rona the Riveter, also known as the Traveling Quilter. I travel the globe from quilt shows to quilt tours, shop hops to quilt retreats, and everything in between. <laughs> Won't you join me for a quilt adventure? When I started my blog back in 2018, the one question that my husband asked me, and I continue to get asked today is, do quilters really travel? Which of course, the answer is a resounding yes. Many people tend to think of quilting as sitting in front of a sewing machine or on a couch with a hoop and a needle, or a group of ladies sitting around a big quilting frame gossiping about whose grandchild did what down at the Walmart last Saturday night. Well, I'm here to tell you, we've come a long way, baby. Today, you can find us traveling the globe on shop hop road trips, visiting quilt shows of all sizes, quilting retreats at exotic retreat centers, all the way to getting together with our quilting bees. Okay, maybe that quilting circle one does still ring a little true. At last measure, quilting as a whole is a $4.2 billion industry. Yep, that's million with a B. And even throughout the pandemic, that number is steadily rising. Also, according to a 2020 poll, there are approximately nine to 11 million quilters just here in the United States, and about 65% of them are retired. That doesn't even include the millions more all around the world. And according to the ustravel.org, quote, US residents logged 1.9 billion trips for leisure in 2019. That's that B word again. So it stands to reason that the quilting travel world is a pretty big one. Did you know that there are quilting tours and quilting cruises that go all around the world? You can hop on board a tour bus with up to 25 of your fellow quilters and visit places like Ireland, the Bahamas, Iceland, you name it. There are even quilting cruises that'll take you to the boutique factories in the Pacific. I use the word factories kind of loosely because compared to the factories we have here in the United States, the ones over in the Pacific are a little primitive, but they're still incredibly cool and well worth the trip. Regardless, quilting travel is all around us. Loads of adventures to be had, friends to be made, and self-discoveries just waiting to be explored. And hopefully, my little show will help inspire you to get out there and start exploring. Two thousand seventeen was the year that started it all. That year, I decided to finally venture out on my own and focus on writing my own patterns. In September, I got the opportunity to take a life changing trip to Ireland with craft tours and our merry band of quilters. Traveling by myself without my husband and friends, I forced myself outside of my comfort zone to meet new people, explore a new country, and begin a journey of finding myself. There I was, sitting in the Charlotte airport, about to make my way up to New York, then across the great wide ocean to visit the land of my heritage. I'd love to tell you that my stomach was full of butterflies or another romantic scenario, but the truth is, I was pretty calm. The weight of the day hadn't truly hit me yet. I almost surprised myself at how not elated I seemed. I was going to Ireland for crying out loud. My first stop was New York City. This was my first time flying into the JFK airport and it was wonderful, mostly. Because my flights were booked separately, I had to claim my baggage before rechecking into Aer Lingus for the hop across the pond. I mentioned my love for people watching. Let me tell you, my friends, baggage claim area at Kennedy Airport is a people watcher's dream. The first to catch my eye were two kids around seven-ish years old using their rolling luggage as bumper cars. Oh, to be that young and bored again. The little boy definitely lost to his sister's advantage. 
Her legs were longer. She could whip around him with a quickness and tag him from behind. His little head would jerk around with a playful annoyance while showing her that I'll get you face. Finally, my bag arrived and it was time to head to Terminal 5, International Flights. If you were ever flying overseas from JFK, bring your walking shoes. The great five-mile hike of Queens with sights and sounds of local life amongst the savages. At the end of your journey, you'll discover men in black headquarters. Honestly, you come around the last bend to find an escalator or stairs down to a large room filled with kiosks and aliens, fortunately the human kind. Seriously, though, it definitely felt as far separated from the main airport as its location. And of course, my check-in was all the way in the back. I mentioned hiking shoes, yes? I still remember the moment it happened. As I arrived at my gate to meet the group I'd be traveling with, the anxiety kicked in. So much so that I found myself hiding at the next terminal over, watching the group from a safe distance, trying to prevent myself from having a full-blown panic attack right there in the middle of the airport. So, I did what I always do. I called my husband. After a few choice words of encouragement, he helped me realize that either I face my fears and walk straight through, or I get on a plane back home to North Carolina and become a hermit. I chose the first one. Walking up and forcing myself to talk to these ten strangers, I had an epiphany moment. These people were all quilters. Right away, I know we have something in common, and I could build on that. I think that's the trick in a lot of cases finding that one spark to just begin the conversation. That, and learning not to overthink every moment and every event in your life. Easier said than done, but definitely doable. Today, I travel all around the world in search of endless quilting knowledge and fun. I also continue to design my own quilt patterns and books, inspired by those travels. Won't you join me for a quilting adventure? What is this show about anyway? I travel a lot. Between vending at quilt shows, doing all the research for my books, to visiting quilt guilds, quilt shops around the country, it's a lot. And I can only share so much of my travels via photos and words in my newsletters each week. So, about the time my book came out, I decided, wouldn't it be cool if I could take all of my online quilting friends with me on all my journeys? And the best way to do that is through video. And the show was born. thousands of videos out there about all things quilting and there are thousands of videos out there about all things travel but my channel Rona the Riveter is the only one to take the giant leap and combine them both. Each week you'll get a glimpse behind the proverbial curtain and glimpse into our greater quilting world. You'll get to see what all it takes to put on a quilt show from planning the show to meeting the vendors. You'll get to learn all about barn quilts, how a quilt pattern comes to life, and even an extensive look at quilting fabric. And that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what all's in store. You'll get funny stories and shenanigans, my best tips for planning your own travels, you'll get interviews, history, and so much more. Basically, just think of me as Rick Steves meets Sewing with Nancy meets Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. How's that for a visual? <laughs> So be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll get notified every time a new episode is added to the channel. A regularly scheduled program is every Monday, but I'm probably going to throw in a few special Fridays just to keep you on your toes. Then 
Be sure to head over to my blog, RonaTheRiveter.com, to check out more about me, all my travel adventures, and make sure to sign up for that newsletter. All my subscribers get free shipping from my e-store, more awesome stories, updates on events coming up, super sales, and tons more. Next week, we begin our first full season with a great cross-country road trip. That's right, me, my mother, and her RV driving from Reno, Nevada, all the way back here to North Carolina. Of course, along the way, we're going to stop at places like Hamilton, Missouri for Missouri Star Quilt Company, Paducah, Kentucky. We're going to hit a couple of international quilt museums, a ton of quilt shops. This is one trip you're not going to want to miss. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new episode is uploaded. Until next week, my friends, happy quilting.